Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it with another Crown Victoria video here. Um, this is my recently purchased 1998 Crown Victoria. Um, I also have a 2001 Crown Victoria, but um, this 98 here is my daily. Um, so yeah, when I bought the car, I did some maintenance to it, coolant change, um, and then like two days after that, yeah, so two days after the cooling change, I mean, as you can see in the video, this is 98, and it has that, so obviously it's been changed. But yeah, two days after my cooling change, um, intake manifold right here, it had cracked on the plastic one, so I ordered the new one from ADTR. I went back and forth about a week um, with it, as far as getting the dormer one, um, that actually go back in here without having to do the, the upgrade to get a PI one to fit. This is the PI one. Uh, if you wanna, if you have this year, uh, range weight 90, I wanna say 98, excuse me, it's 2000. Um, it's a 9 PI motor. So, Dorman has it, but I, I went back and forth literally about a week before I got this one. Some people say the Dorman is fine for daily driving. Some say stay away altogether. I went on ahead and bit the bullet. I went on ahead and bit the bullet and went with ADTR, um, the PI manifold swap here. Um, yeah, I went on ahead and did it. So, um, so which is deeper, it's deeper. It has a couple parts you have to put onto your car to make it work, which, you know, I haven't had any problems with it yet. Um, but while I was in there, if anybody's ever going to, even if you do a manifold swap, as you can see, I changed the coil, the ignition coils, um, and plugs, um, new water pump there, idler pulley, just stuff that was coming off anyway, do the swap, so it was best to go ahead and knock it out while you're in there, put a new temperature sensor in there. Um, now, a couple things with this, there's a write-up on if you buy from ADTR. There's a write up how to do it. And certain things in there that I come to find out now. Um, they were saying you have to get a certain um, thermostat housing for it to work. I had ordered the one that they suggested, didn't work. So, but apparently mine bolted in fine. So that's one issue you might have. They say there's a part number RT44. I don't know what it, what it I, 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 I forget, but they say you need that one for this particular manifold. And then when the guy did it, it pointed the wrong way, basically. So I was able to use my the one that came on the 98. So that's the original one. And uh, another issue where uh, I guess the, the gentleman from ADTR used to sell the alternator brackets um, to the people when they ordered the upgraded one. But I guess people didn't know what alternator style they had. So he was, I guess he was having problems with people getting the wrong alternator brackets. But... In the write-up, they said anything with this manifold, 01 and up, will bolt right into here. Hence, I'm at a junkyard today just to test the theory out. Um, just to show reference, uh, when I originally had the work done, this was my alternator bracket. You can see it's all chopped up. Uh, extra hold here, extra hold here. That was for it to fit on the PI swap. Um, there was the original holes. Actually, these are the, these are not the original holes. These are the original mounting points for it. He had to cut, he had to make new ones for it to fit on the PI head, uh, the PI swap manifold. So yeah, you can see I didn't like that. It's all, ugh, I, it was terrible. But I remembered in the write up they said um, anything 01 and up would work on this manifold. So I came to the junkyard uh, just to see. I swapped it out right here in the in their lot. As you see, this one came off a of 02 uh, Crown Victoria. Um, for reference, it was another civilian model. I didn't, because um, the alternators, um, where the plug sits on the police intercepts are different. It might work as um, far as the bracket, because it's just a bracket. But for me, I saw it, um 03 LX model, uh, civilian model. Um, and it had, you know, the updated manifold, which in 03, I think that's when they started using them anyway. So I unbolted it 
you know bought it brought it out here i'm currently in a lot with it and as you can see it bolted right in um to my manifold there so yeah so if anybody has this generation of crown vic and you know they do it yeah anything old one and up with the i mean anything old three and up that has the upgrade intake will bolt you don't have to cut up your bracket at least in my case i don't think that should be the, i think that would be the case for anybody um just go to junk our 03 and up with the aluminum crossover will work so yeah just a short video about it um i'm currently it's like been a week since it's been in here so i'm keeping an eye on leaks um in certain areas like because here um and then it's back on the back side here in the back side is where the gasket don't line up to the cooling uh port where you had to put the rtv in there so i'm keeping an eye there and there um so yeah i had a problem with heat that the whole week so what i did yesterday was i ended up um flushing out the heater core and some stuff flew out of there so my heat's a lot better now i'm um, keeping up on that just to make sure so yeah that's where we at um any questions comments so let me know um like i said all the videos on youtube some may leave them out some you find out certain things like you said um when you're doing it but yeah it's been good so far you know like i said i mean doing a swap if the, they don't know what they're doing because you oh yeah as far as the swap other parts there's a you get a new cooling tube um because with this generation the cooling tube goes right under under the manifold uh, with the new one it's deeper so it will hit that so you get a new um cooling tube i guess some people will just use mm -hmm. hose and then not use a cooling tube but there's a nipple that goes behind the water pump too that you have to change out um so yeah but those 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 are the major things as far as doing this swap that you have to be mindful of this the new cooling tube uh the nipple that has to is behind the water pump which might as well change the water pump because you got to knock that nipple out through the water pump put the new one in and then where you uh mount your rtv for the gaskets that's the major thing you got to worry about other than that it's literally a manifold swap so yeah the guy who did mine was familiar with it so like i said i'm just keeping an eye on it make sure it don't leak and Things like that, and I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks.